Hey everybody, my name is Paul Esden Jr., a.k.a. Boy Green. I'm the New York Jets digital reporter for Heavy.com. Like this lovely little liner says, uh, very fancy, very nice. Anywho, welcome to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash boygreen25. Make sure before we go any further, you like the video, hit subscribe for more fantastic New York Jets content, interviews, live streams, and videos just like this to give you guys the scoop. It looks like the New York Jets will be moving on, finally, from center Connor McGovern. Let's give a shout out to the Badlands podcast where Connor Hughes of SNY joined and he provided this quote. Quote, they're probably going to need a center if they decide to let Connor McGovern go. The fact that Connor told us that his exit meetings did not include discussions of an extension probably told me, eh, he's probably not long for Florham Park, end quote. He just finished the last year of a $27 million contract he signed back in 2020. And let's just be honest on Connor McGovern. Was he ever the best center during that run? Well, no. Was he ever the worst? Well, also no. He's just been kind of riding the middle. When you look at some of the analytics, such as pro football focus, his first season was a little questionable with the Jets back in 2020. 62.2 overall grade, 42.7 pass block grade, 70.5 run block grade. However, the last two years have actually been pretty solid for Connor McGovern. In 2021, he had a 75.9 overall, 68 uh, flat pass block, and a 78.9 run block. Very nice. Then last season, he was kind of right in the middle with everything 69.6 overall 69.5 pass block 69.7 run block so he's just been kind of average run of the mill zach rosenblatt of the athletic described him as a solid player that will quote draw interest if he reaches the open market now what kind of numbers could he be looking at? According to Brad Spielberger, pro football focus, who projects these kind of things, he expects McGovern to land a deal in the three-year range for 22 and a half, which is a seven and a half million per year evaluation, which would make him the number 11 highest paid center in the NFL, which by the way, seems on point. But if the Jets move on from him, there's one thing that they're going to have to just come to grips with. And while he wasn't the top of the market, he was an incredibly reliable player. Out of 50 possible games over the last three years, he played in 48 of them. So he was a guy that was in the lineup, which is not something we could say for some of the other offensive line in the group for the New York Jets. And I will say this before we dive into the options available this offseason, which we will do here momentarily. I think Jet fans have been spoiled, quite frankly, at the center position. In 1998, some guy named Kevin Mawai, who ended up in the Pro Football Hall of Fame, rode and and smacked the rock for the Jets from 98 to 2005. And then, oh yeah, in 2006, the Jets drafted some guy, you may have heard of him, Nick Mangold, who ran the rock from 2006 to 2016. So if you think about it, for 18 years, the Jets had elite of the elite play. It's like... The Packers going from Brett Favre to Aaron Rodgers or Peyton Manning to Andrew Luck. Like this just run of unbelievable success. And I'm sure Jet fans said, man, it's always going to be like this at the center position. And obviously it hasn't. It has been a revolving door with guys like Jonathan Harrison and God knows who else over the last bunch of years and Connor McGovern. But it seems like the Jets are ready to hit the eject button. But where could they be hitting that eject button? Well, when we look at the spot track free agents to be in 2023... Connor McGovern is the top name on the list, which may be somewhat concerning. Rodney Her- Rodney Hudson, excuse me, excuse me, of the Arizona Cardinals on the top of the list, but it seems like he's going to retire from everything we're hearing. The other free agent to be, Jason Kelsey of the Philadelphia Eagles, they're in the Super Bowl. He may just retire after the Super Bowl or just come back. Him leaving seems to be less likely. And then you have a dramatic jump or drop, rather, from the top center prospects in the uh, free agency class to the next level. Because, again, Rodney Hudson is going to retire. He was making $10 million last year. Connor McGovern, if the Jets are going to let him go, was making $9 million last year. Jason Kelsey was is making $9 million, but he's gone. The next group is, we're talking about $3.5 million. John Feliciano, Garrett Bradbury, Bradley Bozeman, Ethan Pochich. I mean, we're getting in some names, people. Some names and names that I'm not sure are massive upgrades. So they will be massively cheaper, but they often say you get 
what you pay for, which could lead us to the 2023 NFL draft. And once again, we're going to go over to the Badlands group because there is a name that I think a lot of Jet fans are circling in the last couple of years. The Jets have been hoping for maybe a Tyler Linderbaum, you know, maybe a Creed Humphrey. Well, maybe they have their own version this year in John Michael Schmitz, who is down there at the Senior Bowl. Connor Rogers talked about him and his fit and what he would do if he was the New York Jets. Let's roll the footage. I'm with you. That they have some key needs, right? Offensive line is huge. We talk about it every single week. There's so many variables on the offensive line, right? Like how, where's Dwayne Brown at? Is he retiring? What's his rehab going to look like? What's the timeline on his rehab? Can you trust him to stay healthy? Where's Max Mitchell at health-wise? Where's Mekhi Becton at health-wise? Where's Connor McGovern at free agency-wise? John Michael Schmitz might be my favorite player on the field here at the senior bowl. I think he's the best center in the draft. I thought he was the best center in the draft coming out of summer. I would take him with the 44th pick and not look back and get tougher on the offensive line. He's down here and he's really kicking the shit out of everybody and, and letting them know about it and fighting through reps. The Jets need that kind of compete level on the trenches as well. I think they have it on the defensive line side of things. I don't know if they really have that on the offensive line. They're never a tough unit on the offensive line anymore. Not since 2009, 2010. So, and the brief, you know, in between they had a couple of different tough guys, but just not that kind of unit in a sense where, um, they go out and, and really just bully you around consistently week after week. And I, I think John Michael Schmitz fits that mold really, really well at center. If you don't want to pay McGovern. And, and again, if you don't want to pay McGovern, which could be kind of fascinating again, to give you guys a little bit more insight, because I'll be honest, me personally, I have not uh, been paying attention to NFL draft line because the jets were, I don't know, good this year for a big portion of it. So we got into the draft late, but according to all the experts on ESPN, their ESPN draft experts, we're talking Mel Kuyper. We're talking Todd McShay. We're talking Jordan Reed and Matt Miller. When we talk about the top center prospects, Kuyper has John Michael Schmitz on top of his board. McShay, John, John Michael Schmitz, Jordan Reed, John Michael Schmitz, and even Matt Miller, who's a little different, still has John Michael Schmitz as his number two center. But overall, it's a near consensus, number one center in this class, and that's what Connor Rogers just said. And the, I quote, kicking the shit out of guys, well, sign me up, baby. We need a center because the center is one of the most underrated positions in football. We talk about quarterback, left tackle, corner, pass rusher, but center is just that bedrock that can be that way for the entire offense. Offense. And again, Jet fans know what great center play can look like. They had it for 18 years. They also know what questionable average center play can look like. And unfortunately, that's what's been the case the last batch of years. So it's time for the New York Jets to go all in at the center position. The 44th overall pick, a second round pick to fix the center position. Yeah. Check, please. Where do I sign up for that right now? I would do that. So, again, it looks like Connor McGovern is on his way out. And I will just say uh, for Connor McGovern, if he is indeed leaving. He was a professional center, got the job done, did it well, did it solid. Again, he wasn't elite. He wasn't crappy. He was right there in the middle. And maybe the Jets will miss that if they're not able to find a proper solution this offseason. But I salute you, sir. I salute you, Connor McGovern. And hopefully the Jets can get someone like John Michael Schmitz in here to fix some of their problems in the trenches. If you guys would like to read more about this, again, as you hear from that fancy title beside me, that uh, I am the New York Jets digital reporter for Heavy.com. We've got a full column beneath talking about all the juicy intricacies of uh, John Michael Schmitz and the Connor McGovern exit. If you'd like to read more about that, also, make sure you like the video, hit subscribe. We've got some fantastic content on the channel. Former NFL general manager Randy Mueller joins me every week. That's also on the channel. We have a Packers insider talking Aaron Rodgers. We have a Titans insider talking about Keith Carter, the brand new offensive line coach. All kinds of content. It's only a click away, baby. So make sure you support the channel and check those out. Like the video, hit subscribe. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Until next time, baby.